As combines roll through the 2017 harvest season, Beck's hybrids collecting more than just corn and soybeans, but data to help future harvests for farmers all across the Buckeye State. Jared Chester is the PFR Practical Farm Research Location Lead for Beck's hybrids in Ohio. We're looking at different types of equipment to help break down that residue faster and um, give us an advantage for the upcoming year, whether we're planting corn or soybeans in it. So we're looking at what you see behind us, the Capella chopping head versus the stand. Uh, corn head without the chopping action um, versus also we're split, spraying a product called Res Plus which is actually actually a biological to help break down stalk matter also. So this field or this plot behind us is at least five or six years corn after corn rotation. So we're trying to find out ways to help the farmer um, succeed or get the advantage in that corn after corn rotation where we have so much carbon penalty and so much nitrogen tie up come the following year. So this is the second year we're running the, this study here in Ohio, but this is actually the third year of data at one of our sites in Illinois. So we're excited to see once we shell this plot off and see what the results are this year. This particular plot puts the Capella corn chopping head to the test. So as you see underneath, it looks like basically lawnmower blades underneath there that chop the, the entire stalk as it comes through the snap and rolls. And when we look down, basically what we're trying to do is just increase the amount of surface area that actually is broken down and then hopefully that'll increase the amount of um, degradation, the amount of de decomposition this fall. So basically it's just increasing the total amount of surface area that's exposed and can be broken down faster is the whole goal with it. Tyler Schindel is a PFR operator for Bex in Ohio. He has the view from the cab. I tell you what, it's a pretty good corn head. I'm pretty pretty happy with the job it's doing. Um, it does a great job chopping and all the other features are pretty good. Um, you know, sometimes, yeah, it draws power down and uses a little bit more fuel, but at the same time, we're not having to run a vertical till behind our corn stock, so I think it's kind of saving us time and saving us a little money in the end. Further testing beyond the cornfield will continue with the Capella head next season. I think we're going to probably continue testing it. I think we're looking to test it following soybeans next year instead of corn after corn, but uh, overall doing a pretty good job. Results from this test and hundreds more will be featured in the 2017 Practical Farm Research Guide from Bex. Look for it in the coming weeks. For the Ohio Agnet, I'm Ty Higgins.